right, everyone, and welcome back to this Thanksgiving edition of PA Harness Week with Heather Moffat and me, Steve Ross. And Monday's seventh race here was the, ready for this? i got to read this, the CKG Billings Amateur Driving Championship Regional Final. <sighs> <laughs> you know what that's all about, right? Uh, absolutely. Well, tell everybody. What is it all about? Oh, gosh. <laughs> the Billings Amateur Series is for people that would like to drive horses, but they actually have full-time jobs. And, um, Aren't these you know, rich they... guys who look just like to drive horses? <laughs> is that about it, right? Uh, yes and no. You don't have to be rich to own a horse, and you don't have to be rich to just drive as a hobby. But they're doing it for the sport but of it as opposed to making money with it, right? Yeah, because they love the sport so much. Okay, and, good. and a lot of these guys are very good. I want to say the word amateur, the only reason it's amateur is because they take their percentage mm -hmm. that they would get if they were wind with a horse or whatever, and they give it to charity. But I believe they, do they, not they take prefer the amateur. Emma okay. Emma In this race, a Stormont Walk with David Drew was a two to one chalk. Wind Talker, named after you, I trust. And <laughs> just kidding. And Scott, I trust, I trust you that time. And Scott Wogan was five to two. Double strength with David Offenberg was the nine to two third choice. Let's find out who won this amateur race. Proud moment by a length and a half. Perfect. Jerry is second. Stormont Walk is dropping back on the outside. Yankee Slugfest needs room three and a half from the front. Double Strength has some five to make up. And now Baruso pops the earplugs on Yankee Slugfest. Windtalker is saving ground. Five lengths from Leader Proud Moment. And then it's Amelia Hall in the orange sleeve. CR Mr. Bean is struggling a bit. J.A. Novak needs room. And Red Lace moves wide from the back of affairs. Nine lengths off Leader Proud Moment. The, ha the uh, three quarters, 131 and two. They straighten away up the back stretch. And it's Proud Moment still a length and a quarter in front. Stormont Walk is trying to re-rally. Perfect Jerry has had a perfect trip. Two lengths back to Yankee Slugfest. Double strength is off the cones. Five lengths off the lead. Then comes Wind Talker. J.A. Novak is closing the gap at the cone. C.R. Mr. Bean is some nine lengths adrift at its three lengths last to Red Lace. A dozen off entry mate. Proud moment past the mile in 202 even. They continue midway around the far turn. And it's Proud Moment who has led every step of the way. Perfect Jerry continues to ride the pocket. And it's a length and three quarters to Yankee Slugfest. Three more to Stormont Walk who has dropped back to fourth. Double strength has eight lengths to make up. And that one moves to the outside. Top of the stretch. It's Proud Moment still by a length. Well, shock of all shocks, none of the favorites even got a sniff. Proud Moment at 12 to 1 wired the field from the rail in 233 flat. A new track record. You know, it's a mile and a quarter. I know that. Okay, but yeah. How many races have they run here in a mile and a quarter? Like <laughs> right, two? right. I think it was two that <laughs> one day. Anyway, that's a new track record. Um, and the winning drive was Bob Crivillin? Crivillin? That sounds right. Is that? I'll take it. <laughs> you remember Crinolin? Girls used to wear Crinolins? Underneath the dresses to make them... Yeah, yeah, like in Gone with the Wind and stuff. Puffy, exactly. Gotcha, okay. All right, I don't know what that has to do with it. Perfect Jerry, a 36-1 to one bomber with George Casale, got second. And Yankee Slugfest was third. The 1-2 exact, the 392, the 129 try, five dimes and change. Ah, nice. Better than okay. sharp stick in the eye. Now we go to the sixth race, Monday at Harris Jester, and here's Heather with that. We got more fillies and mares, and in here, check out with Leah Fia. She is the better's favorite. Mm -hmm. We've also got Northwestern, who's trained by Rick Belock, and actually he's the trainer of Simple Way, who we saw earlier in the right. show. Mm -hmm. And Easter Egg Hunt, one of my favorite mares who races here. She's on the Dew Fairy, as we say, because the last time she won, was on my birthday, uh, September 22nd. So, you like her, don't you? yes, I love her. Rooting for her in Let's here. Let's see what happens. Easter egg hunt will clear, doing it dragon style. But Northwestern comes out from third. Northwestern is up to challenge Easter egg hunt. Onaru Tak Bella moves closer from fourth. Liz Lee Fia is out and moving from mid division, and she is tracked by Blissful Maddie into the bridge turn. Tiny Bubbles is third over as Northwestern clears the front of the trailer as Tintabella, some six and a half lengths off the lead. They're halfway home in 57 and one. Across the bridge and onto the back stretch. It's Northwestern, a length and a half in front from Easter Egg Hunt, who rides the pocket. Liz Lee Fia will apply steady first over pressure to Northwestern midway up the back stretch. Blissful Maddie is second over and two and a half off the lead. Tiny Bubbles is well placed third over, some four from the front. Doing it Dragon style, a slightly gapped at the cones. Onarutak Bell is in tight quarters from the back of the pack. And Tint Tabella is behind excess cover, still six off leader Northwestern. Three quarters in 125 and two. They're midway around the far turn, and it's Northwestern by half a length. Liz Lee Fear is digging in on the outside. Now Blissful Maddie fans three wide for the drive. Easter Egg Hunt awaits the open stretch, doing it Dragon Styles in behind a crowd. They cut the corner, and it's Northwestern by a half length. Easter Egg Hunt in the open stretch. Blissful Maddie in the 
the center of the track with late pace, and it's Easter Egg Hunt up the inside. Easter Egg Hunt to win it. So, doing it dragon style. Excuse me? Doing it dragon style? Like, who named this horse? Somebody who was obviously <laughs> doing dragon style. I'm totally not going there, okay? <laughs> she gets the early lead, and then Easter Egg Hunt takes over from her. And then Northwestern's like, okay, wait up for me. So, you've got three lead changes. That's a, that's a Philly horse. horse. A Philly horse? What do you mean? It's a Philly. Do, what's the name of that horse again? Doing a dragon style? It's a Philly? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So there's three lead changes before they get to the half. Easter Egg Hunt gets a two hole trip with David Miller, and she comes up the passing lane, wins in 153 and 3. Let me just tell you real quick, <laughs> you're so happy about that horse's name. We got to get on with this. Okay? Where's the dragon finish? Where's the dragon finish? <laughs> um, you know, I got to <laughs> find my results. I'm all into Easter Egg Hunt right now, okay? She's won over $200,000. In like three years of racing, she was a nine hundred dollar yearling purchase. Nine hundred dollars. But she's never done it like a dragon. <laughs> no, that I'm not sure. <laughs> We're here with David Miller and David, the driver of Easter Egg Hunt. And last week the horse wasn't any good, but what happened in the interim came back real strong and won the race this week. Well, I <clears throat> come to find out that uh, uh, she wasn't right. Her uh, front feet were. Uh, Stinging her pretty good, and uh, she just didn't put in a good effort. You know, she come back and raced uh, very sharp. Got a, she got a good trip, and uh, she responded real, real well. I promise you, there will be more dragons yet to come on this <laughs> special day. You thought it was about Thanksgiving? <laughs> it's about dragons. Okay, let's go now to Sonny the Paddock Judge. He will tell us how to claim a horse, and I think you'll find this piece particularly interesting. Not as much as a dragon, but you'll like it. Thanks, guys. I'm here today with Rick Kane, race secretary here at Harris Chester Casino and Racetrack. So you want to claim a horse? We have Rick here to tell us about how it's done. Rick? Basically what you do is, uh, first of all you have to join the USDA and you apply for membership and you have a membership and the old days you had to uh, start a horse at the racetrack. Today you don't have to do that. Even though you don't have a horse racing at the track, you can still come you come to the horseman's bookkeeper about 15 minutes before the race, you fill out the form, you make sure you have either a certified check or a money order in the amount of the claim for the horse, you give that to the horseman's bookkeeper, and the claim goes into a box and it's taken up to the judges, and if there's multiple claims on a horse, then uh, the judges draw by a lot as to who gets the horse, and mm -hmm. then you become a horse owner. So basically the rules have changed and the claiming uh, procedure is open to the public. It was changed to try to get more people uh, involved in the sport, new people, and make it a little bit easier for people to get involved and f get the fun with it. Okay, thank you very much, Rick. Is everybody now ready to go out and claim some horses? Come on, it's good business to get involved in, right? Yes. Okay, let's go to Muddy's 13th here at Harris Chester. It was a condition pace, four-year-olds and up, Non winners of 17 5 in the last six starts, so a pretty high level bunch of paces here. Proven lover with Andrew McCarthy was the slight 2 to 1 favorite over Dragon King. I promised you dragons, I deliver dragons, who was 5 to 2 with Tetrick. Yankee Stardom with Brennan was the 3 to 1 third choice, and let's see how the action unfolded. Dragon King turning away the challenge of Dream Rocket. Yankee Stardom sweeps up three wide. Lennon closes up at the inside. Three quarters and 124 and one. They're midway around the far turn. And Dragon King will have to contend with Yankee Stardom, who's at the leader's throat latch. And now Proven Lover fans three wide for the drive. It's three lengths back to the red blinkers of Lennon. 150 to go. Dragon King kicked clear by two. Chalk, chalk, chalk here all over the place. Teacher quarter pole Dragon King. Went to the front and stayed there, winning in 152 and 2. Proven Lover closed well to be second, beating the length. Yankee Stardom also closed well to be third. And we tracked down Timmy T and spoke to him about his victorious drive. Yeah, you know, he'd been chasing, chasing a lot of tougher horses in the progress down at Dover, and he got to drop in an easy spot, and I just wanted to brave him up for the following weeks. He's got the Matron and stuff, and, you know, he's a three-year-old colt that's got some promise, and we just wanted to brave him up and make sure he could win a race. Okay, when we come back, we're going to have our blast from the past. We're going to go all the way back to 1960 for the 35th renewal of the Hamiltonian, and it took four, count them, four heats to find out who won it when we come back.